Hello everyone, my name is Mason and today we'll be looking at some classic movie recommendations for anyone who's getting into film. Before we start, I just got, uh, want to say I'm recording a lot of videos this week because next week I am very busy with my midterm exams. Uh, so I'm just going to upload a lot of videos this week so I can publish them next week and maybe the week after so I can rest a bit. Uh, and also, I will be uploading a Christmas video. Just just want to let you guys know. So let's get on with the recommendations. I have five titles that I want to go through. I do own all of these. And you probably have, except for one, you've probably heard me talk about some of them before. All of them, actually. Besides for one. But I have two from the same director and two, cri two criterions and one you seen me talk about a lot recently you probably probably know what it is now uh but let's start with the one i haven't talked about because i want to get that one away out of the way and it's a uh, criterion so if you're getting into classic films this isn't the starter pack in fact i want to create it i'm going to probably make another video with the starter pack uh for classic films so this is just some recommendations if you're just saying, hey, what what are some uh, classic and good movies I should watch? So this is uh, an amazing film and one of my favorite, top 25 favorite films of all time. And that is uh, In the Heat of the Night. It is a true classic, uh, amazing cop drama with Sidney Poitier, who gave an amazing performance. And Rod Steiger, who won, uh, I believe he won Best Actor for this film. And this film also won Best Picture. So, like, if you're trying to get through all of the Best Picture winners, I think this is the only, yeah, this is the only Best Picture winner I have here. But if you're trying to get into, if you're trying to finish Best Picture winners and you haven't seen this one, I highly recommend it. And it's an amazing film. I mean, it's, it's. It was ahead of its time for sure and it's one of the greatest for me in my opinion one of the the earliest the best earliest what a, what a, what am i trying to say one of the best uh early new hollywood films it, it's so i'm just gonna put these here oh. and i'm gonna show you the criterion this this is on criterion by the way so but the last month was the Criterion 50% off sale, and I didn't recommend any titles. So in July, come back to this video, and you'll see two recommendations for you if you don't have them already. So you have this big uh, holdout here about uh, some essays. Uh, look at all of that. I haven't even read it. And then. Look at some, this is some nice artwork, really. If I got this on poster, uh, a poster, I probably would, probably would have it somewhere around here. But I would highly recommend this film to anyone, really, who's trying to get into classic film. Because this is a true classic, and I believe, I believe, no. I know this, but Sidney Poitier, I haven't seen too much of his films, and I know A Raising in the Sun, A Raising in the Sun is also on here, I'm Buck and the Preacher. I haven't seen both of those films, and I believe Buck and the Preacher was directed by uh, uh, Sidney Poitier. But I've also seen him in Guest Who's Coming to Dinner, great film, and I highly recommend that one too. So let's get on to the next one. So the next one is... Which one should I do? So the next one is a recent uh, purchase of mine. And this is a film I've seen a lot. In fact, it's probably a film I've the the film I've most watched, like a classic film that I've most watched, uh, my most watched classic film. Uh, and that is Psycho, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. I have another Hitchcock film on here. This is truly excellent, excellent uh, filmmaking. I mean. This is, for me, the last great Hitchcock movie, even though I do love The Birds. I mean, this is the last masterpiece that he ever made. Uh, I think Anthony Perkins is one of the best, uh, he gives one of the best performances and one of the most iconic 
performances of all time as Norman Bates. I mean, he's amazing in this movie. And I do like Janet Lee in this movie. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know this, she was also married to Tony Curtis, who they, who had a, they both had a daughter named Jamie Lee Curtis, who was in the Halloween movies, plays Laurie Strode. Uh, I haven't seen any Halloween movies, so I, I'm not the biggest fan. My brother is the biggest fan of Halloween. Uh, I do like jo John Gavin's a bit wooden in this movie. I find he's like very boring and then uh, blasé. I do like Vera Miles, but I do prefer her in the film The Wrong Man, which is also directed by uh, Alfred Hitchcock. So that's another movie recommendation. Highly recommend Psycho. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you're living under a rock because it's a truly classic film. Uh, very iconic movie. The next one is my final criterion recommendation for any, uh, and you, ha you also have to watch a foreign film. And this is a foreign film. It was actually my first video on the channel. So this film is kind of special to me. Oh, wait one second. Yes, I'm gonna put this here because there's a booklet inside. Uh, and this film is amazing. It's probably the director's, in my opinion. I haven't seen all of his movies. I really want to. Next year I'm gonna get to all of them or some of them. Uh, and that is The Seventh Seal, directed by Ingmar Bergman. A classic film. I absolutely love this masterpiece. Uh, didn't rate it a 10 out of 10, though, because... And by the way, if you're wondering what Psycho is on 10 for me, it's a 10 out of 10. True classic. And this... This was one of the first Criterions, I believe. Yeah. This fine number is 11, so... And they don't ha And they have this booklet here. Nice image there. Max von Sydow. Uh... So I'll go through the images. If you want to pause, then yeah. Love this photo of death here. It's amazing. Yeah, so that there's there's your idea. Like I just want to uh, I'll show you some some more. That's a that's a that's a beautiful image. That that's amazing. Yeah. So, and so, the Seventh Seal is a true classic. And if you don't get the Bergman like bundle of all his films, like the huge box set, and you just want to get some of his other films, I'll just take this. Uh, if you want to get some of his other films, then just and and if uh. And if you want some recommendations, get this. Uh, this is one of the first ones I would recommend. And this is probably, the, besides High and Low, the best foreign film that I've ever seen. I've only seen three, so. Sorry, if you hear my dog, he's barking. So this is a film I just covered a lot recently. Like, a lot. So, I just, this, is my, this was my first unboxing on the channel. So I'm making a huge deal about it. So, so sorry. Uh. But it's a true classic, and I, I have to recommend it to anyone who hasn't seen it. And that's 2000 Lois Space Odyssey. I can't even put into words how amazing this movie is. Truly groundbreaking and ahead of its time. I mean, I think this the effects on this are better than Star Wars. Sorry, uh, I lo there's low battery in here. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's better than- the effects are better than Star Wars, and the movie's not better than Star Wars, because Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back is in my top three, and this is top ten. Uh, still amazing. I mean, I highly recommend this to you. It's- it's- if you wanna, like, get into Kubrick, this is the starter. Even though I didn't watch this first, I watched Doctor Strange Love first, then I watched this. I wanted to watch this more, though. So, yeah. So the final one is an Alfred Hitchcock film. Like I said, I had two on here, and there's two classic Alfred Hitchcock films I highly recommend you watch. I no, I didn't put North by Northwest, even though I probably would have put it, but I put Vertigo. And I highly, I think after you watch this and you don't like it, rewatch it. That's what happened to me. I actually hated the movie when I first watched it. I found it really boring. So then rewatched it i bought it on blu-ray and i now love it and i think it's a masterpiece and i think it's alfred hitchcock's own uh he has many out masterpieces but this is probably his best film for sure and north by northwest is my favorite film of all time so that's saying something
in conclusion, I do think you should check out these films. They are masterpieces. And if you've seen them and you want to buy them, for this, uh, it's on Amazon. For, uh, yeah, it's on Amazon. And then this is also on Amazon. This I got at Sunrise Records. Uh, again, Amazon and then Sunrise Records. So if you enjoyed, like. If you didn't, dislike. I don't give it. I don't give a crap. Family friendly words. Uh, and if you want to subscribe, it helps out if you do. And if you don't, it's your option. I really don't care. So if you enjoyed the video, please like. And if you didn't, dislike. And if you just don't want to, don't. Sorry if you hear some wind. It's quite windy outside. So, uh, bye.